and welcome to the computer crowd my name is Connor and today I will be showing you how to remove a hardware RAID controller and all of the associated components in a Dell T410 server now just before we get started I'd like to remind you all that we have a contest going on and you can either win a hundred dollar or a fifty dollar uh, gift card to either Newegg or Amazon um, you can hit the I right up here uh, for more information now near the end of the video there are some loud bangs and crashes when I'm trying to assemble the server again uh, you may want to turn your audio down just a hair and uh, I hope you enjoy raid card or raid issue per se and we'll be removing the raid card the backplane all the associated cabling and we'll be installing the hard drives via SATA the SATA connect onboard SATA connectors on the motherboard um so let's just get started the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the hard drives which in this server they are located in the front of the server most servers they are and obviously you're going to want it unplugged and and uh, powered down and you just you just want to get them out of the back plane so you don't even have to remove them all the way you can just slide them out a quarter to a half way then you're going to remove the case the, the case side or top depending on your model of server you're going to remove the shroud Now this server is a uh, my home Windows lab server, so I don't really need a raid, a raid but and th that's the reason I'm doing this. So it's just easier to replace or remove all the raid components and put the hard drives up via SATA than it is to buy all new components. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to unplug the battery, which I'm just going to remove the whole battery, or the holder pretty much, which you, you can, when you replace, if you ever have to replace the battery, you just slide it out like so. And then slide the new one in. From the motherboard here. Take this wire and the battery wire and remove those. Now I'm going to remove the wiring from the RAID controller. And then to get the RAID card out of this particular server, you press down on the top of that and slide it out of the way and you just remove the right card like so pop that back in now sorry for the sniffling but i have a cold or i'm getting over a cold now you're going to remove the wiring from the back plane so i'm just going to remove all the wiring get it out of the way go for these guys oops And then to get the back plane out of the server, you pull the blue pin up and slide the back plane up. And you can wiggle it out of 
the grooves, and this is the back plane. And these are your hard drive indicators, which doing this you will actually lose the hard drive indicators, but and it is what it is. Like I said, it's just a lab machine. So and in this particular case, let's get this wire out of here too. In this particular case, I only have two SATA power connectors, so I'm going to actually be removing or basically disabling the hard or the CD-ROM on it, which I never used anyways. So yeah, put those out of the way, and we'll get our SATA cables. One more. Okay, now that I got my SATA cables, we're just going to put SATA, uh, this blue one right here is A, so we're going to st just start with A, and that'll be, I'll put that into, and you put your, push your hard drives back here so you can see, lock them in place. Our director thing one will be A. And as with all the wiring, you just kind of want to get that out of the way. And now we will do B, which is the next one up. And I will put it on this hard drive, the second hard drive. Which is in slot two. I guess this I guess this would be slot zero and this would be slot two. And then you take your power connectors. Slide them on the hard drive like so. Oh, well, shroud. I hate something on my nerves. And then put that wire out of the way. Actually, I'm going to use this to kind of. And there you have it. You got your two hard drives connected via SATA. Now the only thing left to do is put it all back together. And then obviously you want to remember that you got them connected via SATA because if you try to pull one drive out and not the other one, it, you'll run into some issues. But I'm not too worried about it on this system because, like I said, it's a lab machine and it doesn't, this stuff doesn't change a whole lot on it. Shroud down. Try not to kill any of the wires here. Put that little guy back down. Put your side, your side back on. And in this case, you gotta put your I don't know, put my bezel back on. And there you have it. And that's how you remove the rate components from a Dell T410. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit like. If you didn't, hit don't like. It doesn't really matter.
Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and give us a subscription. If you have any questions, you can click the I somewhere up here. Somewhere up here. Uh, and that will take you to our forums. And uh, you can join our active community and uh, probably get a. You can try to win a, a gift card. So, have a good one.